The key to your satisfaction is loving the work that you do. Use your energy for you. You know, when you're humming along, um, I've known generators, builders who I've watched them work and they're humming. They're literally humming or they're just so happy. You know, you can just feel this movement of energy and they're just doing what they love. The quality of how you use your energy is absolutely key. The only way you can be satisfied is if you're using that energy up in an effective and productive way. Your life's work. Yeah, the first two activations, core essence, grounding and balance in your database of the body graph, that's your life's work. It may or may not be connected up to that energy resource. But when you use your energy resource to make the decision, i.e. you wait for the response, this is what's activating you so that you can use your energy correctly. Really be effective with using your energy correctly. Now, the two differences is that one's like tortoise and one's like hare, in that the classic builder needs a step-by-step -step process. You get the job done through a step-by-step -step process. And as a classic builder, when your work is satisfying, you're going to be able to master and perfect that process. You bring creativity into reality. If you have a defined inspiration function, you're bringing that into reality. If it's identity, you're bringing that into reality. You are building our world by bringing things into reality. Not through initiating from mind, but through responding to what life is asking of you. What are the opportunities that are here? What are the qualities of what's happening in the environment that your body is like, yes, I want to be involved with that. Okay. Now the difference between express builder is that these guys can move a lot quicker like tortoise and hare in that little fairy tale story. The thing is as an express builder, yes, you can get tons of stuff done. You can get it done quickly and efficiently. If you don't use your energy correctly though, you are much faster to burn out. And you are much faster to discharging your energy all over the map instead of staying focused. So that's these two, both of your types that are builders, really need some outside help sometimes with advice or guidance. And that's what advisors are here for because we can see big picture view and ask you questions, seeing where you're going, ask you questions to help you to get in touch with your own personal decision-making strategy and authority. Okay, so either one of these two is not good, bad, right, wrong. Just one has a steady, you know, pace and the other one could skip steps. So again, I, I remind you, it's very important, especially for the express builder, wait for something to approach you first. That's how you can really experiment with this decision-making strategy to see how well it works for you. And it's probably going to take us a few weeks, maybe months, sometimes years for some emotional people to really get clear on this. But what you're going to find is your mind is going to start questioning. Well, did I wait for a response? Was that an invitation from life? And there's all this like self analyzing and judgment source into the body. Stay away from what your mind thinks. Watch your body, observe your body. Remember how I was saying, say my mind thinks that. Yeah. My mind thinks that when you're, when you're narrating that little voice inside of your head is narrating your life the whole time anyway. So when you're observing it, say my voice, my mind thinks that. And my body, you might watch your body doing something totally different than what your mind thinks you should do. Don't judge the body with the mind. Okay. Does that make clear for everybody? Your personal interaction success code number two is about responding before you engage with life. So let the life force inside of your gut speak to you. This nonverbal presence that you have pulls people in. Trust it. Let it attract others. You're not designed to try and push the life force flow of your energy out. Wait for things to be drawn to you because that's the way that your energy works. So you just you know, not sit on the back couch, do nothing all day, but really be att attentive, aware of your personal body. Watch as people approach you and whether you lean towards them, you get excited or you go, <laughs> uh, you're dreading something, don't force yourself. That's the first step. But you've been trained by your parents since you were children. Well, 
I should do this because I'm supposed to, because it's right or wrong, good or bad. Okay, follow the body. The body can't lead you wrong because you have that sacral response always. Listen to your gut, pay attention, respond to what lights you up inside, feels right, you have juice for, you have energy for, only engage in that. Your gut says yes. And if you have the emotional intelligence to find, you need to wait for clarity. Now, this is situational. You don't have to wait for clarity to go to the bathroom, right? Little things, no big deal. You follow your body. You don't have to hold it. <laughs> Am I sure I want to go to the bathroom? No, maybe I should finish this task right here. And then you're ignoring your bladder. And then you're like, oh my God, run to the bathroom. That is so bad for you. Pay attention to your body. Respond to its needs, yeah? <laughs> it's a silly example, but really it's situational, right? You want to make sure that you have some time to wait. But here with the builder, that enveloping presence that draws people in, bringing people in like a magnet, naturally you can trust that people and opportunities will come to you that are right for you if you're in alignment. Now, if you're broadcasting crap, meaning you're really bitter and you're really angry, is anybody going to really be attracted to you? Uh -uh. Not really, you know? We like the warm, enveloping presence. So make sure that you're doing what you love. When you do what you love, the energy flows in its natural state. The decision-making strategy, success code number three, it making the right choice at the right time is the entire key to unlocking your design. The key to life is knowing and trusting yourself to make the right choice at the right time. And that's what this is all about. So in human design, we call it strategy and authority. In BG5, we call it decision-making strategy. You might notice I go back and forth because we have a mixed group in here. Two parts. We have strategy. The first step in making decisions in a builder is waiting for a response, that body response. The authority, how to make decisions, is either going to be follow that response now or wait for clarity. Those are the only two options, okay? Now, your mind is never your authority, what you say inside of your head about yourself. Never, ever. Mind always looks for black and white thinking, good, bad, right, wrong. That's why we need to get you out of there. Your mind can be very strong and gifted as an outer authority for others, but it should not be trusted to make decisions about your own personal life. That's not your authority. Not if you're a builder. It's great at observing, learning, taking information, weighing, measuring, comparing. But what will happen is it's going to second guess your mind is going to second guess your gut. So your true decision-making strategy in knowing what's correct for you or not, you have a response and immediately the mind kicks in and well, we can't do that. What are they going to think of me? Right? So the mind will come, become a spokesperson for all the shadows and distractions that we're going to talk about later on in this course to make up stories about why we should do this and we should do that. We are trained to make decisions from the mind. Hasn't there anybody ever told you, well, you've got to weigh out the pros and cons, make a list. Pro and con. I remember being trained that when I was a kid, and I used to do that for years. In BG5 Human Design, none of the decision-making strategies are in the voice inside of your head. Some of them are talking mind-based authorities, but it's not that immediate voice inside the head. It's what actually comes out of the mouth over time. So it's all of this is based on a body intelligence. Every single decision-making strategy is felt somewhere in the body as a resonance to the core truth of you, not a mind certainty that is talked out, okay? Your mind is what throws you off track inside of your head about yourself, the monkey mind, leading to frustration in you if you're a builder. So to be conditioned to make decisions, what happens is you might go into a past experience. Well, last time I did this, this is what happened, so I can't do that again because it's going to happen again. That's mine's black and white thinking. Future goals. I want to get to X, Y, and Z. I want to make $200,000 a year. I have to make this much money per month and I need to hit my goals. Yeah, that's all future goal mind stuff. Current impulses of the moment, especially if they're not your decision-making strategy, you know, like something fear, trying to fit in, trying to belong, trying to prove pressure to hurry up and get it done now so you can just get rid of that pressure. Other people's opinions about what you should do. You got cancer, go to the guy in the white coat and he'll tell you what to do and make it all better. Totally abdicating your authority to somebody else. Emotions 
if you are not emotionally defined, you make it a decision from a high or a low wave. And the reason you think that you're high or low, happy or sad. So the mind, your internal voice that narrates your entire life, expresses the open shadow states of your design. That's why you can't trust it. Remember when we went over the um, transit for the day? You're amplifying that energy. You can't trust what you say inside of your head about yourself because you're amplifying the energy from what's happening or the energy from the people around you. So using your mind is not the right way to make a decision because it's always that this, that, good, bad, right, wrong, black, white. It doesn't have the synthesis. It doesn't incorporate the wholeness of who we are as an energetic being. It likes to make up stories. It will tell you lies. Have you ever found yourself lying to yourself to make yourself feel better? Oh, I bet they said this because they're doing that, whatever reason. Yeah? It convince, it's convinced it knows what is best for you. That is the, remember like uh, what Joe was saying, Taj was saying that there we have this seven center to nine center, the seven functions of the body graph in that chakra system of the Hindu Brahmins. That was about energy moving up to mind. We're not that anymore. See, the mind thinks it knows what's best for you because for 90,000 years, we were developing that mind's process. Our shadows get expressed through mind. It always operates out of fear for its survival and it will seduce you. It will lie to you to try and convince you to second guess your authority. It will override your true decision-making strategy. So for you as a builder, what this means is you have an ever-present, ever-reliable navigation system built into your genes. Always you have a response, a body response or not. If it's an or not, hallelujah, it means it's not right for you. So you can let that go no matter how much the mind is pushing you to try and make some decision. So responding to yes, no questions means we ask you, can you see how this is beneficial for you? Uh-huh. Can you see that this is, or maybe can you feel, can you sense, do you know, anything that's a yes, no question. And that yes, no answer is what must be listened to no matter what. You might feel or hear a, a sound or a movement that draws you forward. Remember your energy is moving towards something. You might feel a, uh -uh, a no something that whatever sound means no to you in whatever language you speak. You know, it's not necessarily articulate. Classic builders usually make sounds. If you are an energy... Uh, express if, builder. Thank you. If you're an express builder, you could maybe say and articulate. It might come out as an actual word. But for the most part, I want you to remember when you were a child and your parents were going... Use your language, use your words. And you were just making sounds. You know, think about a baby, a little baby that's, you know, pre-verbal. And it's cooing and humming and making all these sounds. That's your authority, your decision-making home, if that is your authority. It comes from the gut without hesitation. If you put your belly, your hand on your belly below the um, belly button and right above your pubic center, pubic bone, right, right above that. That's where that energy comes from, the core of you. A guttural sound, pulling forward, push back. It might be a knot, a buzz, a sensation of movement. That's what you want to follow, okay? This is about your body. Make decisions based on your energy. Who are you for you? Let go of your mind, what it thinks your life should look like, and just respond, trust, let go. The mind will hold on. It's difficult to let go. Just trust your body's movement. Following your gut is a way of expressing your own life force. As an express builder, you might need more practice and patience because you might have been really pushed because you have so much energy going out to make that happen. We need to have you practice to wait a little bit longer, okay? To wait for that response to happen. Following your gut means then that all of this energy is expressing through you. Life is expressing through you in whichever way it is defined. 
The first step is you actively wait. Something's coming towards you or not. You have a response. Listen for your gut. Uh Uh-huh or uh uh-uh. Maybe there's a no, yes, no, whatever it is. Wait for that body response. Then you either act or not. This is where mind gets in the way. In the moment before you act, your process is starting to second guess. Should I really do this thing? Just go for it. Just follow that energy. That's the experiment that I want to have you do. And then act or not and repeat the process. Now, it can be something as simple as there's a bird singing outside your window. It's a beautiful day. And all you want to do is get up and go for a walk. Your body actually starts to go. And then your mind thinks, oh, but I really should clean the toilet before I go because so-and-so is coming over. Don't. Don't pay attention to the mind. Really follow your first impulse. Okay? Now, waiting for clarity, it adds another flavor or layer to this. Builder waiting for clarity means you wait for something to come towards you, just like everyone else that are builders. Now, your gut response is going to be there. It's always going to be there. You're always going to have a response. Now you have an extra step here. We need you to develop patience, cultivate patience. Patience is its own reward. Patience will bring you clarity. Patience will ensure that you don't move forward too quickly and make a decision you're going to regret. Especially if you made it with your mind, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life if it goes badly. Okay, so we have waiting, gut response, wait for clarity. Then you have an energetic flow towards that thing and you can maybe flow towards it. Or maybe you're like, "Mm, nope, still not flowing towards that thing, not going there. Either way, in that wait time between the first initial gut response, now in the first asking of life, somebody asks you, hey, so-and-so, let's start a business together. Whoops, I don't want that one, this one. Let's start a business. Why is that not working? There we go. Let's start a business together. I'm inviting you to get something started. Okay, so that's the first response. You might light up inside. You might get all excited about it. But you got to wait because that's a, I mean, really big decision. You need to have time to process it, to feel it out, to have the process of your awareness go up and down because that's how this frequency moves. It moves up and down with emotions. Okay, so all along the way, as you're waiting for clarity, this mind will tell you, well, we should really say yes because of this. We should really say no because of that. And you're going to go up and down and just be patient. Just wait. Just wait the mind's process. Don't pay attention to it. Wait the body's process out. Okay, so in your body process, for those of you who are emotional, there's no truth in the now. Truth reveals itself over time. What the hell does that mean? It means you don't have access to real intelligence about your own personal decision making until you have had time. It's like you're on totally different frequencies of being. Okay? This is a person who has no, it's all about now. It's never about processing for long periods. It's just like, yes, no, this way, that way. Okay? Or not, not going at all. Here, We have a different frequency. Time is like taking tons of different pictures of flowers in a field because you want to take a picture in the morning time as opposed to the evening time. And the sun's different here. And now it's spring and now it's summer. Now it's fall. For us as emotional people, we have to have that time to process things. That's where our intelligence lies. A sensation of feeling over time will give you a correct decision. So here's some examples of this, how it shows up for 53%, about half the planet, and three different career types. Feeling is how the decision is made. You have to honor your feeling. So if you're one of those people who have spent your whole life trying to ignore how you felt, this is something that's a bit of a wake-up call. It's not about suppressing the emotions. I know they hurt sometimes, but you have to be willing and able to feel things deeply in order to learn and grow and accept the feeling, not making a decision because of the feeling, not making up reasons inside of your head of why you feel what you feel because feelings are irrational. They are not mental. We can't make sense of emotions with the mind. 
It is a body sensation. It's a chemistry. They never stand still. They operate in waves. They come in waves. Depending on your design, which we'll take a look at in a bit, they come in multiple different waves. So focus on your feelings over time. Be aware of them so that you can build an emotionally intelligent composite or appraisal. It's not about mind's reasons and it will never understand. Why did I fall in love with this one? Why did I want that job? Don't try to go into whys when you're emotional. That's always going to lead you off track, okay? As you move away from a decision, it loses its power, meaning as time moves on, there's a choice point. Somebody invites you, let's start a business. And then you're excited and then you go down. I don't really want to, but it means no about this other thing. And then I'm mean, really, maybe it's going to be the change of my, no, I don't know about this. And that. You know, I'm just going really quickly over the week. Time gives you perspective is the further away you get from that first initiating like a rock thrown in a pond. You know, when a rock is thrown in the pond, there's all this waves and over time the dust settles or the, yeah, underneath the water, that murk settles and it gets clearer. So you need time if you're an emotional authority because the awareness potential happens between the up and the down. You know when you're really, really sad, you have all this pain in your heart, you really don't think properly, do you? And when you're really, really excited, do you really consider everything that's down here? No, you have pink rose-colored glasses on. You don't see the pain. You don't even remember what it feels like to be there. That's why you have to wait. Okay, so let me go back to that slide here. As you move away from the decision, it loses its energy power to sway you. The further you get from the, the decision, the first moment, the closer you get to a truth. At some point, that wave won't go up and down anymore on that choice point. You don't get super excited. You don't get super sad. You're calm. You're clear. There's no big deal about making that decision because it's the next step in your process of development. Feelings of the high and low, good, bad, up, down, whatever you want to call it, are only in value of reflection. So we sample different feelings over time and that gives us the big picture. Like the guy is taking the picture of all of those different flowers at different times of the year and different times of the day. We are sampling those feelings. And there's no such thing as ever getting to 100% crystal clean, clear clarity because the wave is always moving. Your emotions, your chemistry is always going up and down. And if you believe your mind, your mind's going to give you other things that's going to make you feel fearful. It wants an immediate yes, no. It thinks you might miss something if you say no and wait. It thinks you might miss out. This is the hardest thing to get over. I tell you guys, it's taken me years to let go of going, oh, I have to say yes now. Two years into human design, Jovian Archive says, hey, you wanted this job. Yes, please. I'll start tomorrow. You know, <laughs> I've slept on it for weeks until you offered it to me. Of course I want the job. Mm -mm, gotta wait. Wait, 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 wait. So